Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and this is uh, Thursday's Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. Since I am not getting them posted on Tuesdays, I think we're going to have to call it Thursdays. But anyway, this is our Tips, Tricks, and Techniques video. This is going to be a quick one. Um, I'm just going to show you how you can use some regular aluminum foil and just scrap paper. It doesn't have to be white. It can be any color you want because you're going to cover it with this and make beautiful images for your cards or you can then take them back to your die cutting machine and punch them out. I think you can maybe you can see the texture in that. So I took it back to my die cutting machine after I had run it through and put the script on there and then I just used this create and cut that out. And then on this one I Emboss this butterfly and then I used my Posca pens just these Posca pens they're real inexpensive I'll link them below but they're about the only thing that will color on this um, aluminum foil without wiping off once these dried they're on there I tried alcohol markers it just wiped right off but um, so that's what I did on that one just colored it and then this one is a Christmas folder and then I went back and put stickles on top and it's still a little bit wet and I'm, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the stickles because of all the glare already but I do have some stickles on there no okay you can see a little bit of glitter in there when they dry it'll be a lot easier and then this one's another one that I just embossed this one I debossed so the um, little snowflakes are debossed down in there. This one I embossed. This one is just the dots. And it makes it look like an old toolbox. You can rough this up a little bit and it'll look even more like an old toolbox. Or put some alcohol ink on there and spread it around and let it dry really good. And it probably would look even more like an old toolbox. This is going to be for a Father's Day card. So once you get these pieces done, then you can cut them up, use them for cards or use them for die cuts, whatever you want. Now, I have seen other people do these and they use these big sheets of this uh, Sequin double-sided adhesive. I used that on a couple, but on this one, we're gonna try this with just a uh, glue stick. This is a permanent one, so. We're going to try this glue stick. They really stick pretty well if you don't put anything under them because once that embossing goes down in there, it, it does pretty good. But we're going to put something down just in case we want to cut this out once we get this done. So I'm just going to try to... I want to try to get that down as flat as I can. Don't worry if you do get some wrinkles in it. I think that just adds to the character. It's not a biggie. And just a little secret, if you get a little tiny bubble like right there, just take a little pin, poke a hole in it, and then press it down. Now I go ahead and fold the sides over when I'm handling this because as you know, aluminum foil is very sharp. It is tin and it can cut you. So just go ahead and fold your sides back. Now we're gonna run this through my embossing machine. I have a big shot. If you don't have one, you can still use your embossing folders in a rolling pin. Roll that back and forth across it and you'll still get the same images. So if you have a lot of embossing folders that you would like to use but you don't know what to do with them, this is just a cheap and easy technique. Okay, I'm going to use the butterfly again. You know how much I love butterflies. I'm using my embossing plate and then just a clear sheet. Then I'm going to place this in my embossing folder. And I'm going to make sure that the... Okay, let me... Yeah, I want to emboss it this way. The part that goes in, make sure that that's on top where the aluminum foil is. So this is the deboss part. 
and it's going to push up on this one. So make sure that you've got the deboss on the top. Okay, and then I run it through a couple of times. I run it through this way and then I run it back. And then if it still doesn't feel like that it's getting a lot of um, pressure to it, then I might put a little piece of paper in there. But this feels like it's got plenty of pressure. You don't have to run it through this many times. It's just that my embossing plates are pretty sad. So they about had it. Now let's put that down. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? And see, I've got my raised area on top. That's what I want. Isn't that pretty? You can use that as is, or you can color it like I did this one. Either way. But I just think they're gorgeous. You could even cut this out and use it on a card or a project. If you have a smaller uh, butterfly embossing folder, use the smaller one, cut them out, and use them on your projects. But see, that stuck really well. I mean, that glue stick worked. And the glue sticks are a whole lot cheaper than these sheets. So, but try using what you have. Just, I mean, this is inexpensive. You know, you can get this uh, aluminum foil at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a roll. And then just use your scrap paper. You can see it doesn't matter what color of paper you have underneath. So, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And that's what I wanted to show you today on our tips tricks and techniques. I told you it was going to be a really quick project and I think it is. It's something that you can do in your spare time. Something that you can even sit in the living room and watch TV and do. Just do a lot of these and then you'll have them ready for your card fronts or for your special projects. All of that type of stuff. Alright guys, we will talk to you later. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to our channel. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.